Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. We just did this Patreon exclusive, um, definitely too hot for YT and a very uncomfortable topic, but uh, there's a lot to be prepared for in the last quarter of this 2024, and perhaps there may be a new plague upon the land that will be emerging in, in maybe just a few weeks. Um, so again, take care of yourself. It's just that simple. And there's a lot that can be done, and we go over that in the video. Yes, absolutely. And again, you can join our Patreon family for as little as a dollar a month while we are still using this monetary system and we're still able to broadcast. Meanwhile, here you have catastrophic flooding. This is in a gorge off the Grand Canyon. All access to Supai and Hava Supai Falls has been cut off. Hundreds of hikers stranded. Um, there is one person that is missing. Yeah, the the desert's really scary when it floods because it can't handle massive amounts of water. And here you have Arizona National Guard hitting the air as they help airlift more than 100 people out of the town of Supai. Uh, dangerous, dangerous conditions. It's not the only place either. Massive flooding going on in Moab in Utah last night. Never seen anything like this is what the locals are saying. Yeah, I mean, this is really horrible. And, you know, I've seen some other people say, I've lived in this area for 30 years. I've never seen this ever, ever, nor have my grandparents. Now, when I hear people say, nor have my grandparents, my ears really start perking up. Yeah, you know, we, we've talked about the R-E-S-E-T word of a grand nature, right? After that happens, they always wash things away with a mud flood. This, this is just how history has worked. Well, it's easy and convenient. That's what they do. And, you know, when you look at this, you see India, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Yemen, uh, China, Slovakia, Poland, all having massive floods everywhere you look. This is just the new norm, and it really seems like it's been the new norm for the last seven years. It takes time for them to wash away uh, the remnants of the previous civilization and they do it in numerous ways meanwhile uh expect a lot more cyber attacks as there is a possible cyber attack over at port of seattle uh and the airport over there so right now uh systems are down and you know we've had so many of these occurring all across the world and besides you know all the different variants of of different plagues upon the land you have in this case, over in Massachusetts, an outdoor curfew going into effect at 6 p.m. because of EEE, which is Eastern Equine Encephalitis. We've talked about this over the last seven years um, relatively frequently. It's something that's mosquito-borne. You know, there's actually factories making mosquitoes under that Gil Bates guy's authority. It's insanity. Why would you want to create more little plague breeding pests, parasitic, just, oh, well, depends on what your real agenda is. Well, yeah, I mean, it says right here, town takes controversial step to fight mosquito-borne virus. Uh, is everything not controversial? You know, what happened to common sense? Well, you know, some would say this is just one one step heading towards what's going to be kind of like a permanent lockdown, a, a permanent um, martial law type of situation that we'll see uh, it, pretty much everywhere at some point in time. This is saying thank God for the Iron Dome as Israel is uh, doing more airstrikes on Lebanon. Israel, you know, again, is uh, a, a contentious subject, to say the least, as Hezbollah uh, landed some of their own coming in that the Iron Dome apparently missed. But when, when you look to the leadership of this world, it does feel there's a different, this, this, let's see, what's the word here? There's, there's an awful lot of people that really seem to sympathize with Israel. Mm -hmm. And again, Israel was restored by the UN, by a UN mandate. Uh, disproportionate, yes, absolutely disproportionate, because we are talking, you know, 
a tiny little country and a tiny quote unquote ethnic minority, religious minority, um, doesn't even make up half of 1% of the population of the planet. And yet you will find uh, people that are very, very sympathetic to that cause are just everywhere in the top echelons of, of the political um, arenas. And this is the far left Brazilian president Lula. And you could see uh, what he's he's got on there and what he's doing. Hmm, interesting. And then over in South America, too, it looks like he's getting lessons. This is the president of Argentina. Brazil and Argentina uh, are, are actually the two largest nations in South America. And they seem to be completely for Israel. You know, hmm. These, he sent them free helicopters, of course. Looks like they're studying the Talmud. I found I found my copy, by the way. Um, and it's very revealing to actually study the Talmud. Uh, Greater Israel map. Many people are starting to wake up to this map because this is part of the bigger plan for an Israel uh, that will be at least 10 times the size it is right now perhaps over the coming few years. Uh, what's coming right now has been telegraphed and planned for a long time. We were talking about toxic watermelons, and I do hope people will pay attention to things as far as everything that can have an effect on your immune system. Uh, again, a lot of times people will just gravitate towards the big flashy titles and stuff, but you know, and ignore things that are impacting their health and really can threaten their lives. But be, take seriously what you are putting in your mouth because you'll see people that say, well, you know, nothing's really organic anyway. So then it, they'll go load up on Twinkies and, and Monster. Uh, I mean, you you really want to quicken the demise? You, you know, it, it's true that the system gets overloaded overload is what what is a big issue going on with uh, most people nowadays it's a toxic overload so these PLU codes when you when you see produce and they got a little label if that number begins with uh, a three or a four it's going to be a certain thing and it has four digits and and really that's what they call conventional which means it has a lot of pesticides involved and uh, a lot of toxic things sprayed on it. Five digit codes that begin with a nine is organic and five digit codes that begin with an A means you're eating something that has had its DNA played with. It's GMO. So be, be aware of that. Uh, I would never eat anything with an eight under any circumstances. That's just me. We strive for only nines. We strive actually for uh, produce that is is doesn't have any codes on it because it was just made down the street. You know that's always best, but know what that guy's doing. Know what your farmer's doing. Well, yeah, I mean, very important, and we talked about this a little bit uh, yesterday or day before on Patreon that a lot of farmers markets, farmers markets are wonderful. Unfortunately, the trending thing is is to go get uh, fruits and vegetables in mass from anywhere, like a Walmart or Sam's Club or whatever, and then go sell it at a farmers market. I mean, my heart just sunk when I heard about that, but it, it was a local farmer who had very good prices by the way very very good prices despite um everyone else you know doing what they're doing and and in that little cheat club i just don't think that's fair you know if people are going to go do that you're just not helping other people i mean we need to rise up not sink to their level you know conventional should be organic and if you're drinking coffee that's not organic you know you might as well be waiting for the helicopters to spray Asian orange on you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the reality of, of this system. Uh, and also, the system is trying to really uh, clamp down or at least make a show of really looking like they're clamping down. But yeah, I think they are trying to clamp down as you have the Telegram founder facing 20 years in, in prison. Pavel Durov was arrested in France facing 20 years in prison because Telegram supposedly allows free speech and is in danger to the controlling interests of our world. Ah, yes, and this over here is Chris, Chris Pavlovsky. 
Um, and he says he's a little late for this, but for good reason. I've just safely departed from Europe. France has threatened rumble. And now they have crossed a red line by arresting, you know, the aforementioned Pavel Durov for not censoring free speech again. Yes, they, they just want you to, you know, eat, eat your Agent Orange and just be quiet. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, when we look to the past, we see Giordano Bruno was burnt alive in Rome in 1600 as a heretic because he proposed that the stars were distant suns surrounded by their planets, by their own planets, raising the possibility of alien life and insisting that the universe is infinite and has no center. You know, it is interesting to see that because now, you know, the contrarian way of looking at things is flat earth. And yet I saw comments saying, uh, oh, you're promoting flat earth uh, because obviously they, they didn't actually go and watch the video. They just assumed this was on uh, BitChute. Uh, somebody else that's made a few comments again that showed that they just don't have any ability to actually listen. And that's what so much of the world is right now is, is you glance at something and you assume without going deeper. Oh, no, we always have to go deeper. We have to look closer. Uh, the world is giving us a massive illusion. It's a huge illusion. But then again, what illusion did it support in the past uh, that now it doesn't support? And, you know, what really is the truth? I, again, each person must go within to find the truth. When you, when you look at this, there's lots of questions out there on what has been hidden on our planet as you see these grooves what was that just you know a wagon trail is there a wagon train there oh we've we found so many anomalous objects uh, out in the desert that to us look definitely like technology was involved in areas that supposedly had nothing but maybe a teepee on it ever oh yeah and, and we found concrete many people as i've delved more into this have found different forms of concrete that has been uh, laid waste by the system, again, obliterating everything uh, that used to be. And uh, as I've been sharing, um, looking into this one book that was written in 1870s, but it's piecing together travels that happened in the 1850s, 1860s, over in what's currently southern Syria, southern Lebanon, and northern Israel about these cities that the giants used to inhabit. And the giants were wiped out, totally wiped out. I mean, they built houses with five to eight foot thick walls, incredible structures that now there's, there's really just rubble there. Yet only 150, 160 years ago, there was intact cities still there. And in fact, travelers would, would just sit, stay in a house because there's nobody in this area. All these houses are empty. And I remember back a long time ago, uh, like 30 years ago, um, coast to coast, and I forget who it was they had on. It might have been Ed Dames. I don't think it was Ed Dames. It was some other remote viewer. And uh, I did do research on it. And they were showing like 2050 that, you know, there's hardly anybody on the planet the planet seems to be doing fine uh but there's hardly anybody where we are now and you know there's been again another series of events in which the population uh seems to be kind of washed away and ultimately what looks to conclude with a mud flood event when you look to the giants you'll have people that are pushing uh the biblical point of view and it's not even that the Bible says all giants are created, e you know, equal. It doesn't necessarily say that. It does actually uh, break them up into different names, different designations. But here you see, this is Patagonia. Patagonia is, uh, again, Argentina and Chile down there. Uh, pretty cold area and pretty rugged, pretty remote. The first travelers down there, this is a 1773 depiction this is Captain John Byron meeting a Patagonian mother and child near the Straits of Magellan. So that's right on the very tip of South America, 1766, when he was circumnavigating the globe. They're friendly. They're friendly. 
he's like showing them something like a watch or something maybe they were friendly they're not you know red-haired and hungry to have human bbq no no that's that's again the system trying to paint everybody in the same light and like i've said if they look back at our civilization they might say it was one big sodom and gomorrah but that's not your family that's not us but they're going to paint us in that light and say oh they all had it coming this is what the system does humanity needs to wake up you've been brainwashed totally your entire lives, you've been completely brainwashed and pitted against your fellow humans. And, you know, now there's there's really very few, if any of these left, if any of these giants left around the world. And Cindy has remote viewed them, too, and, and found very, very benevolent, um, loving beings in South America uh, that were of a very high frequency. And, and they were... Well, you know, like Homo sapiens is going that extinction route right now before our very eyes. And that's what happened to them. Well, you, you have to look at any entity on, on the planet or universe. This is probably a universal law that if you are being picked on and your species is dying out, you, you are going to hide and you probably are going to fight for your very life if you get backed up into a corner. And what do they do? It's like gaslighting. They do that to these these giants they get them backed up against a wall and then and then when they go after them they take pictures and say see how vicious they are see they're coming after us they're gonna hurt us you know just like that red haired giant uh was it kalahar or something like that kandahar yeah i mean he he was alone he was probably just minding his own business (laughs) and they did that to him of course he's gonna fight back and then all they have is witnesses saying how horrible he was. You know, maybe he was horrible, but I have a feeling he was probably minding his own business. But no, as that one that one was probably a little spicy. But I have looked at other ones, and they are very gentle beings. I have a feeling that they are out of reach, out of reach at the moment, very wisely out of reach. But when I do scan their energy bodies, I cannot tell you how symbiotic the energy feels. It's it's almost as if that's the only thing that they know is how to function with the earth in a symbiotic way. And they are intelligent enough or and their bodies are intelligent enough to say, if, if they are not being symbiotic, to say, hey, you know, like in a 5D world, it's like, hey, this isn't working. This is not this is not uh imbalance so they they quickly auto correct and that's just not where we are at we're not at that frequency yet but we're working on it well we've been genetically modified to not be at that frequency oh, yeah. that's the thing we, it takes effort to overwrite your 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 dna in a positive way yeah. and you know yet the system's trying to do the same thing in an even more negative way it does take a lot of effort, you know, to look at things and acknowledge what is wrong and, and go back and redo. I, I mean, it takes time. It takes effort, just as much time and effort as it did to grow up and, and learn all the fallacies that we learned. That took time and effort. So, I mean, it's a struggle out there. And unless you really, really want it, you got to really want it. It's just not a path that you're going to go down until you realize that this uh, false path, this plastic path, this synthetic path is really, really bad for you or a tragedy has happened to you or a family member and something suddenly becomes worth it to look for another way. And unfortunately, so many tragedies, that's what puts people on their correct path. But you you can't... um, you know, give the finger to the tragedies because if it gets more people on the right path and a path to symbiosis, then this is a good thing. So it's hard. You got to find that silver lining. You got to find balance. Here's a clip from the movie, The Witches, in which the witches remove all their masks, revealing the creatures underneath. It'd be more accurate if you're talking about the Vatican with the Pope and his cardinals. Oh, it sure would. Yeah, because in fact, you know, many of what you call witches were persecuted were just simply natural healers. <laughs> they were natural healers, and you know, they're kind of making them out to be pretty ugly here. But I think it's more like there should be a scene in the reptilians. Absolutely, there's more things hidden underneath the Vatican than you can believe. Oh, no. It could be exhausting. You know, make sure you take care of yourself. Give your body time to rest and relax, and at the same time, stay as prepared as possible. 
I know if you know, here's the truth. If you do not make time for your own wellness, you're going to be forced to make time for your illness. Don't forget that. I'll leave it on those words of wisdom. As always, guys, you're welcome to join us over on Patreon, Source Bless, and Namaste. Namaste.